my friends, how is everybody today? I had put this video out last week and I went and on my phone was looking at some YouTube stuff and I accidentally deleted it. So I'm re-uploading it and uh, as several people had pointed out to me and I didn't think to mention in the first video, <coughs> Easy Wood Tools does make what's called a negative rake, negative rake tip for their uh, turning tools. And uh, it works very well. I have some. The issue with it is, and let me see if I can show you guys here real quick. If I can zoom this in. Even with the negative rake, sometimes you can't get your tip low enough. And I find myself, even with the negative rake, holding it on a downward angle. What I'm trying to do is cut the resin right below the center line where the object is scraping on it instead of cutting straight into it. Scraping on it. And that's the point I want to illustrate here. And there I am. Could I be wrong? Of course. Goes without saying, I'm wrong on so many things. You're looking at a number one bonehead here. But with that said, it does work very, very well for me to help prevent chipping. So let me show you what I mean, guys. Hey, that's pretty good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, when you look this good, what do you do with yourself, huh? <laughs> Y'all know I'm just funning. Hey, my friends, I think y'all know all you ever see me using is my easy wood turning tools. I think I hope y'all know that they are my favorite turning tools. Ever since I started using these, I find myself rarely going back to the traditional old turning tools, with the exception of a skew now and then. But wanted to let you know. Hey, this don't look good. Oh my god. Damn, you're getting bald, Doug. Shit. That's what happens when you get old. <laughs> hey, my friend, you ever been turning resin and you get breaks and chips and chatter like this? Especially when you're first starting. Right? I find that happens all the time. Right? And the reason being when you're cutting with your turning tool you're staying level if not a little bit on an upward angle which is biting in to the resin all right even with the skew even more so with the skew you're on an upward angle turning which is biting into the resin when it's turning which is what I think is causing that and I think I've found a great solution or at least room for thought. Let's put it that way. So let me show you what I mean. And guys, pardon my, my voice here. <clears throat> I have a sore throat today. I do. Alright, I took all my gear off, guys, so I could talk here for a second. Right? Like I said, when I'm holding the lathe level or slightly upward like you normally do, I would get chipping and chatter. Not all the time, mind you. Ever since these uh, carbide tip tools have come out, I don't haven't found me using my skew that much. But on an upward angle, I'm wanting to bite into it. On a downward angle, I'm scraping it. And I mean, you can just have so much more control with the feather touch on your tool when you're getting right down to that finished product and don't want to risk any chipping or breaking and right now I'm gonna push real hard right now as hard as I can and no chipping of any kind but pushing as dead hard as I could 
where staying flatter on an upward angle I would normally get tons of chatter or breakout I get nothing Am I a mess? Probably so. I'm sitting here wood turning. Got to get dusted, dusted, dusted. No tear out of any kind at all <clears throat> by holding the tool on a downward angle like that. Now disadvantages. This is a very uncomfortable position to hold the turning tool on an upward angle. And I tend to keep my tool rest a little farther away from the turning than I would like to to give me the room to put the tool on an angle. Can that be solved? Let's see. Me, hard at work. How wool? Here's your turning object. Here's your easy wood turning tool with the tip on a 25 degree angle facing downward. Where the tool, now I know I don't have the rest right up next to the turning. Okay, come on, my computer's not that good, all right? You can hold the tool straight and level like you normally do. The cutting tip is still on a downward angle, scraping on the turning as it's going around. Not No matter how hard I'm pushing when I have the tip being held in there on a downward angle, like so, to match that drawing right there, I cannot get a chip out of the resin. Why? because it's scraping. It's not wanting to bite into the resin. It's scraping off of the resin, which means you can really fine tune your turning. Hey my friends, I had told you all in a little short video when I made my goof that I accidentally deleted this video. And uh, it's not easy to delete a video on the computer. You have to click three times to delete it. But on my phone, I didn't realize what I was doing and deleted the video. With that said, it worked out kind of well for me because uh, after making the video, I had spoke with Easy Wood Tools. Uh, again, I love my Easy Wood Tools. You won't find any better turning tools in my opinion. I spoke with them. Uh, Greg, I believe it was. If I'm wrong on the name, I apologize. And Greg informed me that on their, their negative rake scraping tips, they had a patent on them and no one else could copy them and that is a wonderful thing I have a patent myself but uh, since no one else could copy them other manufacturers have designed a tool with a downward angle tip like the one I made in the drawing and I don't know what manufacturers did I didn't look into that it's not important to me uh, holding it on that little bit of a downward angle works great for me and saves on the chipping and the chattering. And I've ruined a lot of turnings before uh, the negative rake scraper or before figuring out the downward angle. So, I wanted to let you all know, that's not the correct way to hold a tool. You're supposed to hold it flat and level. If you can get your rest below the center of your turning object, and again, that depends on how big your object is, uh, whether the turning object is 1 inches round or 10 inches round, center is still center. It just has to do with how far you can drop your tool rest. I find a little bit of a downward angle works wonderful for me. I hope it helps you all a little bit. So, 
Wanted to let you all know that, guys. Thank you, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you found a couple of helpful tips there. Appreciate it, y'all. Got to get back to this one. Bye now. I'll be back.